In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. In reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Prayer for Peace Heavenly Mother of Fatima, Thou hast promised peace. If the sinful world turns to the Immaculate Heart and does penance, we turn to you in the spirit of penance and fill our confidence. Merciful Heart, obtain for us peace. Send the just and lasting peace to the world. Make justice and righteousness triumph over all godless forces, over hatred, tyranny, and sin. Mercifully protect our Holy Mother of Church, our Holy Father, bishops and priests. Guard our homes, our churches, and our country. Holy Mary, pity mankind and his bloodshed, slaughter, and disaster. Prove to all nations the wonderful love of thy immaculate and maternal heart, and lead them to thy divine Son, to his peace and endless joy. Amen. Prayer for the intercession of our Lady of Consolation. God our Father, you sent us your only Son, born of the Virgin Mary, as a consolation of your people. Through the prayer of his mother, may we find in him the fullness of your compassion and share its blessings to all around us. May Mary, our Mother of Consolation, who brought comfort and strength to Monica through the conversion of the Son Augustine, help all those in need and bring consolation. with the confirmation of the holiness of life of Mother Consuelo. Please mention your intention. In gratitude of your boundless blessings, we praise and thank you, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pampansang awit ng Pilipinas. Thank you.
Panatang Makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi, kinukupkop ako at tinutulungang maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang, susundin ko ang tuntuni ng paaralan, tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan, naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. Reading from the Holy Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 6 to 14. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do not him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that I will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long? A time you will you still do not know me, Philip. However, has seen me, has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am the Father, and that the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who are doings in me is doing his work. Believe me, that I am the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the word themselves. Amen. Amen, I said to you, however, believes in me will do the words that I do, and I will do. Greater ones that this, because I am going to the Father. And however you ask in my name, I will do so, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me, in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. To you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.